topic of this video is counseling. So I'm going to make a playlist on my channel for doctor's appointments because I'm currently have health insurance and I'm enjoying having health insurance. So I, I am uh, using the health insurance and so I'm just going to kind of post videos about the different doctor's appointments I go through as uh, January 5 to January 5th, 2022. So as I kind of figure out, I haven't been on Medicaid before and I'm currently on Medicaid. Um, Washington State Medicaid, which is called Apple Health. And so just kind of sharing my experiences as I go. And what kind of actually started all of this off in getting Apple Health and Medicaid and stuff was the what this topic of this video about is about, and that's counseling. So counseling. I started counseling. This is the first so this isn't going to be the first video kind of in my doctor's appointments playlist on my YouTube channel, but it is the first kind of, I would bump this into doctor's appointments because um, it was for mental health. And so I went to see a counselor um, September, to November. Two thousand twenty-one, and so I went for uh, the reason I went. I went for sexual assault so I was sexually assaulted in two thousand. 12 and I had like a, a rather large flare-up so um, kind of when I went in I, I was treated I, not medication it was counseling uh, I received EMDR treatment uh, kind of related around the trauma of being sexually assaulted and so that was, I did that, I started that, if I'm recalling correctly, September, early September, ended early to mid-November, um, started, so it was, it was approximately two months, um, if I'm getting the dates kind of wrong. And it started off every other week, and then October we started every week, so it was a number of appointments. I did not, so I went through Bluestone Psychological Services in Edmonds, Washington, which is in Snohomish County, which I live in King County. Um, and Snohomish County, it didn't really matter that there's, there's different rules because King County is around a large Seattle is in King County, as is Washington State. And so the, the number of cases for COVID-19 are rather high. So we have a lot of restrictions that counties surround us don't have. And um, Snohomish County, I live, a, currently live, reside approximately one mile from the boundary between King County and Snohomish County. So, like, I go to Snohomish County more often for groceries than I do kind of King County. Like, there, so there's just kind of, um, living in the borderlands. No, but seriously, yes. Um, <laughs> kind of, uh, I don't necessarily always go to King County for, like, yeah, this kind of stuff. Um, and so I went for this. I did that for approximately two months. I did not have health insurance, so it was out of pocket. And as part of this, um, and going in, I, my counselor recommended that I get a neural referral. So I hit my head and, um, got amnesia and stuff like that, head injury. And so she actually re recommended I go in to get a neural referral from a primary care doctor. I don't have a primary care doctor. I don't have health insurance. Um, and so I actually, from this counseling, I signed up um, for Washington State Health Insurance, uh, the Washington State Medicaid, the Apple Health, and Ameri Group and stuff like that. So this is kind of, for me, counseling is what got the ball rolling. Um, it was it was successful. Uh, I Some of the stuff I had been working some of the stuff related to being sexually assaulted I worked through on my own, but some of the stuff, uh, the EMDR and my counselor was really good, and I made progress on some of key issues that I hadn't been able to make progress on before. So that was really great.
Um, I was the one who instigated stopping the counseling because it was going really well. And it's continued to go really well. I haven't had to go back to counseling. So that's, that's excellent. Um, one of the things I think that they actually asked when I went into counseling, uh, so it's kind of like opposite of today I went to the dentist and at the dentist they kind of look at the teeth and ask about like your daily routine and stuff. Counseling, going to see a counselor was actually a bit different. They asked about my counseling history and one thing I just remembered that I actually didn't include um, was I did see, I was first kind of introduced to counseling and therapy when I was in elementary school. So I'm actually going to go over one of the things they kind of required. I'm not going to go in the same detail they required, but uh, to call and set up an appointment, they asked about my counseling history. And so I have actually seen counselors uh, consecutively nonstop for over six years in my life. Yeah. Um, so counseling psych and specifically psychiatry, because I have ADHD, and Adderall is a highly controlled substance. And so when I'm on medication, I actually have to see a psychiatrist in person. Um, part of having ADHD, at least responsibly. Like I, I did that, um, so I chose the responsible path. Um, and not everybody does. Um, nothing wrong with that, it's just not. I, I, I actually found the talk therapy to be quite useful. Um, um, and so I'm going to go 